Okay. I'm going to alleviate this whole thing here with everybody saying you got to heat your pads up or you got to use crazy high temperatures. And it's all wrong. This is why new people are screwing up the boards because they're listening to you guys tell them to use all this heat and, and put heat on the board. No. Wrong. Okay. Knob all the way down. Knob to three and a half. Okay. No super high heat. Okay. You tin your tip like normal. Okay. Put your solder on your pad. You touch it. And that quick. You're tinned. No burn your fingers. No excess globby rosin all over the place. It's unnecessary. Again, tin your tip. Set your solder on your pad that quick. And you're tinned. Okay? Now, the question Joshua Bardwell posed to me is, how do you solder 12 AWG wire to a pad without touching the soldering iron to the pad? Okay? Now, since we're using such a big, big bob or big wire, again, we're going to tin our iron. We're going to add more solder here and get a decent size bubble on there. Okay? Nothing too ridiculous, just bigger than normal tinning. Okay? I'm going to turn my heat up to five. Okay? No cranking the iron up again all the way. Give it a minute or two here to, to uh, heat up. What happens is with these irons, you got to have a fast recovery iron. If you don't have a fast recovery iron, you're not going to be able to do it. And that's where everybody struggles. They buy these cheap ass Radio Shack 10 watt irons, 15 watt irons. They're not fast recovery. We are not plumbers. You don't need all that rosin. You don't need flux, all this stuff. Simple 60-40 solder. Tin your tip really good. Touch it to your beds. You know, get your blob on there, okay? Now, for doing wire, you're going to do the same thing as you did there. You're going to add more than what you normally do to tin. Get a good size ball. So that's going to transfer from the soldering iron to your wire and in turn is going to make the wire heat the pad up faster than if you were sitting there heating everything up like you do, okay? So let the solder do the work. You'll heat through the wire. You'll feel it relax. And your pad won't get super, super hot. There, you see that? Just relaxed in. Give it a second to cool. Don't blow on it. There you go. No cold joints. No heating up the board. Put my thumb on there. It's warm, but you're not you're not superheating everything. It literally is that simple. It takes a little practice. It takes a little thought to get used to. Let the solder do the work, not the heat of the iron. The solder heats the other solder, which in turn heats the other solder. And that's all you need to do. There's the bond. The bond is not the heat to the metal. The bond is solder to solder to solder. Simple as that. Done deal.